Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. I am Lonnie, and today we're going to be looking at LCDs, specifically the I squared C variety. Now, this is not an I squared C LCD. This is the one we used in the very last little mini project we did. Uh, this requires a crap ton of jumpers, jumper wires. Uh, it also requires a potentiometer to adjust the backlight, or not the backlight, the contrast of the LCD. And even more importantly, it requires the use of six pins of your, uh, of your Arduino or your microcontroller. So there's a lot going on here. This, there's a lot to go wrong, too, um, as far as you know, miss, you know, messing up where you put a wire or whatever. So this does work. Um, I imagine there are some cases where this would make sense. Maybe you have a lot of extra pins and uh, you don't need I squared C. Like in, I would guess like in a production, um, in a production run maybe, if you have plenty of uh, pins on your microcontroller, you don't need I squared C, then why would you use it if it you know causes more expense? But now we're going to look at, we're gonna look at an I squared C LCD and we'll compare the two and you'll notice right away, here's the really cool thing. See that? That's a potentiometer built in. <laughs> that is really nice. So we don't have to worry about that. You'll notice on this one, all we have are four lines. We've got ground, power, and then two I squared C lines that have to hook up to the Uno. And they're even labeled. Like if you look at if you look at the pens, let's see. Where is it labeled? Oh, there you go. Right next to the potentiometer there. Ground, VCC, SDA, SCL. It's exactly the connections you make on the board. And you will also notice that even though this is an I squared C LCD, it's only an I squared C LCD because of this little darter board or whatever you want to call it that's hooked up to it. The actual LCD itself is basically identical to the one we used in the last product uh, project. It's the same. These are both pretty much the same, probably the same manufacturers. I mean, the, the traces on the PCB and everything look the same. The only difference is this one has this little board on the back. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you need to know is when you use one of these LCDs, these I squared C LCDs, we're gonna go to the computer now because we have to do a little bit of work to prepare our IDE to use this LCD. And I'm gonna put a link to this down below but let me show you, this is, there are several libraries to choose from, but if you do liquid crystal, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I install it, liquid, liquid crystal I squared C, it's gonna pull up this GitHub link. And I actually had this installed already on this computer, but I uninstalled it so I could show y'all how, how to get it. And then we're on the GitHub page, clone or download, we're going to download zip and then we open our IDE up all right and there's there's three different ways you can do this refer to my last video if you want to know those ways uh, let's see include we'll go to, we'll do the include library add zip library fashion and then we just go to downloads and here it is right here and it says added then you have to close arduino and we could double check that it got added by going on on mac we go to this uh libraries folder within the documents folder here it is arduino liquid crystal master and then here's all the files and stuff inside so that was successful but you do have to close it and then reopen it <laughs> And then I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and upload this little bit of code to my Arduino board because I was already running a little LCD sketch and I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the surprise of what's going to happen. So our IDE is all set up now. We've got the library we need. That link will be down below. Like I said, uh, now we're going to make the required connections here and, uh, you know, I'll unplug the board while we do that. And basically, look, um, I have this set up to where brown 
is ground. Red is five volts. So my eyes don't fail me. I've got five volts here. And we've got a ground right here. Okay. And then, as y'all saw here a minute ago, uh, the SCL is the yellow lead. If you look on the Arduino board, it couldn't be any easier. SCL, SDA. That's where they go. And they, they go in exactly like they go in on the LCD. That's it. I got SCL and SDA connected. The only other thing we may have to do is once we get it powered on, we may have to adjust this little pot back here. This little potentiometer for contrast. And I have my little screwdriver here to do that with if I need to. So, um, tell you what, we'll go ahead and plug in. Arduino and we do have power, but there's no sketch running So we don't see anything on the screen yet. So let's go over to Let's go over to the Arduino IDE We'll do an open and you go to your libraries selection here, and then there are some There are four different little uh, Example sketches and we're we're gonna do a couple of different things here y'all uh, this isn't all we're gonna do. We're gonna do several things, but uh, we'll do. We'll start with Hello World. And uh, one other thing you want to pay attention to is if you see in the sketch, it sets up top liquid crystal I squared C LCD, and it says zero X two seven. That actually happens to be the address of my LCD. Maybe the address of yours too, but if it's not. Uh, I do have a video that I'll link down below um, that will show you exactly how you can find out what the address of your LCD is. So if you need it, I have that video to show you how to find it. But in my case, this is it. And then this next parameter, 16, that is how many characters across. And then the two is how many uh, how many um, rows, rows we have on there. So uh, then we get to the setup portion, LCD begin. And then it, this turns on the black backlight and prints a message. I don't think the backlight is necessary. I don't think that actually does anything, but because I've commented that out before and it didn't seem to have an effect. Uh, and then it lcd.print hello world, and that's it. It does that once and there's nothing in the loop. So just to confirm functionality, we'll upload that sketch and then we'll do some other cool stuff too. Adjust the camera, get in there. All right, hello world is showing up on the LCD. That's a good thing. Um, let me get into that little pot there and I'll show you. See, we can adjust. See, that's right. And the way I like, I like to adjust them to where it's really bright, but you just can't see the squares. Like that's perfect like that. So very clear displays though. I love these displays. All right, and let me get in there. Let me zoom in because we're going to be doing some stuff here with the display. I'll get it squared up. There we go. Perfection. All right. Okay, so now we have Hello World up on the screen. What can we do next? So there's a lot of other functions inside of the uh, Liquid Crystal Undersquared I Squared C library. Let's take a look at a few of them. Um, first of all, there's one thing we can do. I'll show you this one first. There, there are two commands. There are Two commands called display and no display. And these are good. Am I doing that right? Let's see. No display. There we go. These are good because it allows you to turn off the LCD screen without losing the contents of it. So you don't have to do a clear. And we'll talk about clear here in a minute too. So we're going to do a no display as you see here. And then we'll do a uh, delay for... And we'll do 750 milliseconds and then we'll do a display and notice there's no parameters for that then we'll do a uh, another delay of 750 milliseconds and let's see what result that has on hello world oh Oh, 
Oops, forgot the LCD part. There we go. <laughs> Syntax error. All right, uploading and and as you can see, it turns off the display and it turns it back on, but we don't lose what was on the display. So basically, you get we're getting a flash here. Pretty neat, right? So let's uh, let's return this to normal. And we'll look at what we're we gonna do next. Okay, we'll do uh, we'll do an else we'll we'll take the hello world out of the setup and we'll come down here. We'll do an LCD dot print uh, hello and then we'll delay a second. And now instead of having world on the same screen. We want to clear the screen. We're going to do an lcd.clear. That'll clear the screen. And then we'll lcd.print world delay 1000 lcd.clear. And let's run that. See what happens. Exactly what we wanted. It clears the screen, writes a new word, clears the screen, writes a new word over and over and over. So we have an LCD clear, we have a display, no display. Um, let's see, we also have, there's a command called, oh, and we also talked about set cursor. There's some other ones too. I don't want to talk about every single command in the world. Um, but there's also one called cursor. So LCD dot if we do a set if we do cursor then it'll actually display a cursor behind the last character that we wrote oh you know what I'm gonna move I need to move this back into cut this I need to pay, I'm going to paste it back up here so it only runs at once. But it's going to put a cursor right behind hello. A little line there. Um, let's do, well, we'll do one more and then we'll take a look at a practical example. Um, we'll do, we'll do blink. Um, if we do blink... Oh, the, oh, to get rid of the cursor, you can also do LCD. Um, it's like this, no cursor. And if you were using the cursor in your sketch, that'll turn it off, okay? There's also one called LCD.blink. And that will make like a blinking box behind your last character. That's kind of cool. Let's the user know that thing's still alive, I guess. Looks more alive. I like that. But anyway, that that's good enough for now. Um, there are a few other things, like quite a few other things you can do with that. But let's let's have a little more fun. And y'all, if you've watched a few of these videos, you'll know that I like to I like to include a potentiometer when I can. But what's more fun than that? So let's go ahead and include a potentiometer here. And we're going to make it really simple. Uh, let me back out here. There we go. So I'm going to throw this little mini breadboard in the mix. We'll put a potentiometer in right there. We're going to whip this up really quick, y'all. We are not going to waste time. And then we're going to go ground on that side. We're going to go power right there. We're going to go yellow right down the middle. And then we hook it hook it up over here. Let's see. We got a ground we can hook up to right here, I think. Yep. And then let's see. We need to grab some power somewhere. There's some power we can steal. But we've got a little stretch going on here, huh? And then we need an analog pin, right? We're going to use 
analog zero right here. All right. So let's go ahead and look at what we can do. Look, there's no slack given there. Huh? Um, let's look at what we can do here. So we're going to take all that stuff out. And right here, we're going to lcd.print. And let's just print the value, right? lcd.print uh, analog read uh, 14. That should do it. And then we'll do uh, lcd.clear. And just to avoid maybe a little flicker, I'm going to throw a, well, let's see what it looks like first. And we'll put, we'll put a delay in if we feel like we need it. But it should just print a number between 0 and 1023 uh, in the upper left-hand corner, whatever, depending on the position of our potentiometer. At least I hope so. Oh, look. Look what I forgot to do here. LCD clear. I didn't put my parentheses because it's a function that we're calling. It's a method inside of that library. Hello is replaced with some number. And you see like probably not a great potentiometer and maybe not a great analog to digital converter on the Arduino. See how that's kind of flashy like that? Like that last character? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm not digging that. See, the 3 and the 8 are staying at the same time every time. So they're staying solid. But that last character, you can tell it's kind of going back and forth. I wonder if a little bit of delay. We're talking about just a little bit. 50 milliseconds. That might make it a little easier to look at. It may not make a difference. We'll give it a try. I can see it going between 387 and 388, though. That didn't do a damn... Oh, wait. I don't need LCD delay. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of stuff mistakes I make all the time, y'all. To me, that's a little easier to look at. It's not quite so flashy. Of course, if, if our sketch had some other stuff going on, yeah, I don't know, man. That is a really messy looking it's like updating so fast. It's updating too often. Here, we'll really make it wait. That's hard for me to look at. All right, this ought to be a little more solid. It's a little slower refresh though, huh? You see, as we turn, if we go fully clockwise, we get the full 1023. And we go fully counterclockwise, we get the zero and anywhere in between. Live update, right? Pretty neat, pretty neat. So, yeah, guys, that is our introduction. Um, there's also another really cool, <coughs> another really cool method inside of that um, that library, the Liquid Crystal Library, for custom making custom characters that I really want to get into during the next video. So thanks for watching. See y'all next time.